What's up guys, Chris Langan here, and today we're going to be taking a look at a very unique product called Spinball. Alright, so if you are like many of us who scroll through Instagram watching drum videos, then you have most likely seen this product in action. A few years ago, all of a sudden, people started spinning their cymbals in their videos. And today, I'm going to walk you through how the product works and what my thoughts are on it. The spin ball is basically a cymbal sleeve with a built-in ball bearing. Pretty much like you might see on a roller skate wheel or a fidget spinner. It's the world's first cymbal spinning product. So, what does it do besides just look cool? Well, sonically, when you hit a spinning cymbal, think about the ways that the sound waves are changed. It helps the cymbal open up and produce a rich Doppler shifting vibrato. Now, one of the other benefits is that it randomizes your cymbal's location. This is a huge problem that I have with one of my cymbals. I have uh, back here behind me one of my Minel Extra Dry Thin Crashes. For some reason, the cymbal likes to sit in a certain spot. So that means it's getting the, the one spot is getting the brunt of all of my hits. So I really like the idea that this will kind of cause the cymbal to spin without actually having to spin it around, but just have the cymbal move so that I can hit different spots and take some of the stress off that one location. The 2017 Best New Accessory was developed by Guy Jurevich and the company is based out of the Philadelphia area. If you check out spinball.com, you will see many testimonials from the likes of Ray Luzier, Will Calhoun, Eric Prada, and even my good buddy Seamus Evely from the Drum Gab podcast. So, enough of me talking, let's go test this guy out. Alright guys, so I'm back at my kit. I'm going to put the spin ball on my cymbal stand. And uh, we're going to spin my 18 inch extra thin hammered Minel Byzance Crash. Before I play it, I just want you guys to see like how long it actually spins. It's pretty impressive. So uh, get my Wheel of Fortune skills ready here and give her a spin. Now, I know if you're like me uh, and you've tried spinning cymbals before, they pretty much only go for about a minute before the felt slows them down. Uh, this will just go and go and go. Uh, it's, it's pretty neat. I didn't even give it that hard of a turn. So, uh, it's pretty neat. Uh, I mean, what I have seen a lot of guys do is they'll start patinaing their cymbals uh, with different designs. You can really get that kaleidoscope effect going and it, 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 uh, it makes for a really cool visual effect. But uh, I don't plan on messing with my minor cymbals <laughs> at all. Uh, they're very expensive, but uh, if you do have some older cymbals and you want to try putting a patina design on there, you can come up with some pretty cool designs, and uh, it, it looks really, really neat when you spin them. Still going. All right, guys. Well, uh, it's been a little while, and it's still spinning, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to play a little bit, see if we can capture some of what happens to the sound waves when you strike a spinning cymbal.
got super interesting. I hope the mics were able to pick that up. You can definitely hear how the cymbal resonates a lot longer than it normally would and kind of has a, a wavy kind of sound to it. Uh, even here, just me talking next to the cymbal, I can hear my voice kind of bouncing off of it a little bit. You might not be able to pick that up, but I can definitely hear it. Very, very cool. What I'm gonna do now is play it from a dead stop. That way you can see that after you hit it, the cymbal will move around and change location so you're not striking that same spot over and over and over. So the only thing that concerns me a little bit is I, I like having a wing nut on my cymbal stand. I, I always fear that the cymbal's gonna go flying off and I just, I don't know, I need to have a wing nut on there. And what I'm finding is that uh, if you screw the wing nut down to the point where it touches the spin ball, that's going to reduce the amount of spin. Maybe not by much, but it, it is going to reduce it a little bit. So you almost have to leave it just a little loose there. And uh, at this point, I'm only catching maybe the first three threads, and that kind of worries me a little bit. But uh, other than that, I think this has been a really cool experiment. So I'll give you guys my final thoughts. So my final thoughts on spin ball. Well, like I said, I, I mean, I, I don't really, I'm not much of a trick guy. I, you won't really see me spinning sticks. Uh, so the, the flash thing really isn't my kind of kind of thing. But what I really, really do like, and I, I said it before, is the fact that the symbol will, uh, the location is randomized. I'm not uh, stuck hitting that same spot of the symbol. Now, I do really appreciate the fact that it changes the tone of the symbol. Like that's that's just a pretty interesting thing that uh, nobody obviously has thought about up until now. Uh, I really like the design of it. It's solid. When you get it, you get uh, the sleeve itself with the the uh, ball bearing in the bottom, and you get a felt as well. My only my only complaint is that I really like to have uh, I really like to have my wing nuts on my cymbal stands. I know I see a lot of guys that don't have any wing nuts or felts on top. It's just a thing that I just like. I feel safe that the cymbal's not going to go flying off the stand by having a wing nut on there. So my only gripe is that the actual sleeve comes up. Uh, a little too high so I'm not able to screw my wing nut down all the way uh, it would probably take less than 10 minutes for me to just kind of slice a little bit off the top just to shorten it uh, as long as I'm careful with it uh, and I don't destroy the product but that's really it if uh, if the sleeve was just a little bit shorter that I could screw down my wing nut all the way that would be the only thing I would change about it so very very cool uh, Hopefully I will get into more trickery and uh, maybe you'll see me spinning my cymbals more often. Maybe I'll learn how to flip some sticks and and uh, become more of a showman. But uh, until then, I will definitely be using it, like I said, to randomize the location of my cymbals. So awesome little product. Make sure you check them out. Uh, I know they're on Instagram, but you can find it at spinball.com. And uh, until next time, guys. See you at the next video.